Hello dear viewers, I present to you your favorite 2022 BMW M5 CS. The BMW M5 competition pushes the limits of performance with an excess of power and physics-defying handling. But for 2022, BMW goes all-in with a new four-door rocket called the M5 CS, for competition sport, which is available only for the 2022 model year. BMW claims the new 2022 M5 CS is the quickest and most powerful BMW production vehicle ever. It uses the existing M5 engine, a 4.4-liter twin turbocharged V8, and squeezes out 627 horsepower and 553 pounds to foot of torque. That's 10 horsepower more than the M5 competition, and while peak torque is the same, the power band is slightly wider when winding the V8 up to nearly 6,000 revolutions per minute. To make measurable gains in performance, a crash diet melts 230 pounds from the car. As a result, BMW says the M5 CS will reach 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and attain a top speed of 190 miles per hour. Additionally, the car will come standard with carbon ceramic brake rotors and performance Pirelli P0 Corsa tires are a no-cost option. The suspension has been retuned to match the lighter brakes and standard 20-inch forged aluminum wheels, with ride height dropping slightly, 0.2 inch, compared to the standard and competition M5 variants. You can spot the 2022 BMW M5 CS by its exclusive bronze gold Y-spoke wheels and exterior trim, vented hood, and added carbon fiber bits and pieces. Three colors are available, brands hatch gray, frozen brands hatch gray metallic and frozen deep green metallic. Peer inside, and you'll spot individual rear bucket seats with side bolsters that are almost as deep as the front seats. Is the CS worth the price premium compared to the regular M5 competition that costs $30,000 less? Not by any logical analysis. Do we want one? Yes. Check out our test team's expert rating below for our full evaluation of the car's performance, comfort and more. How does the M5 CS drive? The M5 CS is among the quickest internal combustion cars Edmunds has ever tested. It ripped from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds flat and cleared the quarter mile in 10.8 seconds at 127.5 miles per hour. To find a quicker sedan, you'll need to look at electrics such as the Tesla Model S Plaid and the Lucid Air Dream Edition. A 100-foot stop from 60 to 0 miles per hour is one of the best we've recorded from a sedan too. Another impressive number is the 1.04 grams of lateral grip we measured on our skid pad. BMW has been refining this powertrain for years now, and that shows in the CS. The engine revs freely and smoothly and it rushes to its redline with a life-affirming vigor. In its standard drive mode, the transmission engages smoothly, and even the engine stop-start feature is seamless despite this car's sporting intentions. In sport mode, the transmission is smart and works to keep the engine in its formidable power band and can rip off shifts just about as quickly as any sports car. On the road, the CS is dominant, with sports car-like reflexes and confidence-inspiring handling. If you like driving very quickly, this is the sedan for you. How comfortable is the M5 CS? The most obvious concession to performance is the way the M5 CS rides over anything but glass smooth tarmac. You are constantly jiggled around, and hitting a pothole results in a backbreaking thud through the carbon fiber bucket seats. While the seats themselves are excellent for sporty drives, their heavy bolstering and thin padding make them borderline unusable for journeys longer than a few hours. Even at sedate speeds, the M5 CS is a loud place to be. Less sound insulation and plenty of tire roar from those big wheels means you are never without ambient noise digging away at your eardrums. Even the air conditioning somehow seems weaker in the CS than in other 5 Series models. In short, the M5 CS isn't really suitable for daily driver duty and is best left in the garage for that special Sunday morning drive. Unless, of course, you're just that hardcore. The interior of the M5 CS is relatively gimmick-free and works just as well as it does in the more standard M5. You get 4 bucket seats, 2 front, 2 rear, a steering wheel and not much else. The CS treatment means weight reduction, and for some reason BMW decided to remove the center console to help shave off a few spare ounces. That limits storage space, and the bucket seats that take the place of the rear bench mean this sedan goes from a 5-seater to being strictly a 4-seater. Speaking of seats, the carbon-backed buckets in the CS are so extreme they border on completely unnecessary. 
they are so heavily bolstered in both the back and thigh areas, and those bolsters are very hard, that getting in and out is a chore and not the least bit graceful. There is little doubt that these seats will keep some people from potentially buying the car, and even though they're supportive and the CS has an excellent driving position, they simply do not need to be so extreme. But they are great conversation starters at local cars and coffee events. It's still a 5 Series, which means BMW's iDrive touchscreen interface is here. There are dozens of menus to dive through, and prospective owners should make sure they're up for the learning curve. That said, once you get the hang of it, a drive becomes second nature. However, the CSification of the M5 means you lose the option for a few advanced driver assist systems. They aren't crucial to the CS experience, but it's worth noting you'll have to go without them. BMW's voice recognition system is one of the best in the industry, and we found it understood natural speech easily, even with the elevated levels of interior noise. How's the fuel economy? The EPA estimates the M5 CS gets 17 miles per gallon combined. Granted, you'll only see that number if you drive like the gas pedal is made out of eggshell. Is the M5 CS a good value? Cost and value aren't always on equal footing. Yes, the M5 CS is crazy expensive. It also comes with a number of limiting factors that make it a difficult car to live with every day. With that said, the M5 CS is one of the most engaging and energetic sedans BMW has ever made. It may carry a substantial premium over rivals like the Audi RS7 and Mercedes AMG E63, but it's far cheaper than a Porsche Panamera Turbo S rest assured, the CS is more special than all three. Plus, with Future Classic written all over it, the CS does enough to justify its hefty price premium over the standard M5. BMW is only making the M5 CS for one model year, and that makes this a very rare bird indeed. But, to the untrained eye, it's just another 5 Series. Whether that's your personal cup of tea depends on how you like your super sedans, but there's no denying how special the CS is from behind the wheel. It proved that BMW can still make something genuinely fun and engaging while delivering world-beating performance. Every BMW M5 CS leaves the factory in a single level of specification with just a few choices regarding paint color, brake caliper color and tire compound. The car also includes a voucher for one day of professional driving instruction, helping ensure you know how to use this piece of high-powered automotive artillery. That's all. Thank you for watching. Oh, my God.